Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to generate a data dictionary from an existing schema using a SQL script in Greenplum. Do you need to generate a data dictionary from an existing schema where the schema name, the table name, the ordinal position, the column name, whether or not it's a key, foreign key, primary key, unique key, maybe it's both, the data type, whether or not it's nullable, and really important, the description. As long as it's present in the schema, we can pull it out. Do you want to have all those things automatically generated into a data dictionary from an existing schema and then output that to, say, Excel or to a text file? Then here's the script for you. First up, a demo for downloading the SQL script. Go ahead and open your browser, and in the URL, go to github.com slash data research labs. There's no www, and it's data research labs is all one word. Hit enter, and... <clears throat> You want to find the SQL scripts? You can search in here too if you need to. Go ahead and click on the SQL scripts link. You could theoretically go hit the code button and download a zip file. That would grab everything, all the different scripts, all the different platforms, SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle. You're welcome to do that. Or in this case, I'm going to browse down into Greenplum, browse down into the data dictionary folder, click on the data dictionary dump script. There it is, but that's not quite good enough. I got to click raw. There we go. Now I can highlight a little bit inside, control A, control C, got it. Now it's in my clipboard, and then I can pop up Notepad, <clears throat> and then I can paste it right into Notepad, and there we go. Now I can save it and run it. Next, the demo for generating the data dictionary table. So I happen to use Toad as the IDE here, Integrated Development Environment, and first I opened the Greenplum data dictionary script, in Toad, have it loaded, and there's two important changes, line 14 and line 15. Anyway, you would change this to the schema that you're interested in running against, and you would change this yes-no value to a yes or no. That's the two switches that you would use in this script. The yes-no is for tables only. Yes limits it to show only the tables. No will also show the views, so I like to default it to no. Next, I went ahead and run the uh, script to produce the output and the results that you see on screen. It's all based on test data, but I still had to obfuscate some results. So there's a schema name, the table name, the type of object, a table or a view, the ordinal position, there's a lot of columns in that particular table. Uh, is it a key? And Greenplum doesn't really have primary keys and foreign keys, it uses distribution keys. So the D key is shown, and then the column name, the data type, whether or not it's nullable, and the column description. I'd scrolled down in the result set, and there was a table down a bit further that has a bunch of column descriptions. So it proves out that the column descriptions will also show up. And finally, if you want to export those results, in Toad anyway, your ID may be different, you just right click, go to Quick Export, hover over the Excel instance, and then click Excel instance, and the results will pop right up in Excel. So that you're ready to do the next step, which is to format the output. First thing I should do is save it as an Excel workbook in the same folder. And now, when I go do my formatting, uh, let's just highlight all this stuff, double click. There we go, now it's the right width, auto fit. And let's do format as table, and sure, let's do that one and it's going to auto select the range and I'll hit OK. And what's nice about that is I have a nice looking table, something that I can email out to fellow teammates or post on SharePoint or post on a wiki, whatever, but it's also got the filter set up. So if I want to limit it to just the actor table, there we go. Now it's automatically filtered to just the fields in the actor table. If I want to select everything, I can go back to everything. If I want to know all fields that, all, show me every column that has the word I don't know, ADD in it. And so Excel's nice because it shows all possible values. And then if you type something, let's do RESS, R-E-S-S, R-E-S-S. -S -S. It's, it's going to look and say, does any part of the word have that? Let's back it off, R-E-S, back it off one more to R-E. So if I wanted to see all columns that have R-E in it somewhere, there we go. There's all the columns to R-E and the tables that they're in. So you can do quick searches this way and Anyway, it's nice. So there we have it. You can make a pretty data dictionary in Excel after running that SQL.